Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electrica. I really appreciate that. Now, I'm holding uh, what is known as um, a bypass switch. Now, I don't know whether you've had something like that, but I have a question. What's the bypass switch? And uh, would you like to know where this kind of device are used or how it can help you? uh in some of your circuit or installation is okay or operation is all right now let us uh look at it uh in details now a bypass uh probably what you have seen <laughs> may not look like this but probably will do look like this okay and in an enclosure but for the purpose of understanding and uh, explanatory in this video so we're going to look at this type here okay now uh, a bypass uh, is a device okay which incorporated uh, in the circuit uh, to override the main circuit if there is any form of maintenance or adjustment in the main circuit that you want to do but you don't want to stop operations okay now uh, I'll give you an example uh, take an example of, uh, you have uh, a motor that maybe it's on the production line uh, running a conveyor belt which shouldn't stop or if it is to stop then the time has to be minimal okay so assuming uh, it's, uh, it's using a direct online SATA because uh, most of the drives motors, that's, uh, you know, they usually use uh, that, that form of starting, okay? So if one of the components in that circuit has broken down and then you need to replace, or probably it's a periodic maintenance on the circuit, okay? So... This is where this guy comes in. You see, if you don't have this in your circuit, then you have to shut down for a long time and replace the part. For instance, probably you want to repress a contactor into your circuit. All right? So that means that this circuit I have here, if you want to repress this contactor, forte contactor, then you have to shut everything down. Uh, you replace it and then you resume okay but if you have a bypass the one thing you're going to do is to change the position okay or the mode of operation from auto or normal to bypass and then you continue with your work and you work on your circuit pretty well without inconveniencing your production okay so uh this uh device here it, it looks like this manual changeover, uh, but it has two positions, okay? So, it will change from a normal operation, or would be an auto mode, or normal operation, uh, to bypass. So, that means that it has, uh, it has to override the main circuit, okay? As we are going to see uh, in this circuit here, all right? Yeah, so we will use a multimeter and uh, we, you know, we cut out some tests, as you can see, because this is something that you can, yeah, go ahead and incorporate in the, your circuit. Okay, let us look at it here. This is the circuit now. So this is a typical uh, direct line starter with these buttons, okay? So during normal operation, you see... Uh, we press these buttons and uh, our circuit engages, okay? So, let us look at this device further. Now, this is how uh, your device will look like. Now, if you look at here, we have two positions here. So, we have bypass mode and then we have auto mode, right? So, right here, we have got on this device, we have got two contacts. Eh? Uh, okay, two faces. We have this side and this side. Okay. But each side is 
uh, each two side is independent, all right? So what we've done is we link here, like you normally would do on change over switch, and then we have these two inputs, okay? We have this, so these two inputs, the output of our circuit or the, the output from the, the, the contactor of the direct on line will enter one of the line and then the second input will be now this drill supply from the breaker. Okay? And then we'll have now the, the load connected this side to the, to the breakers. Alright? So, that's what will happen. Now, let us... First, look at it uh, in details. So, I have uh, a multimeter here. I want us first to do some tests here. Okay, I'll put this in AC, yes. So, let us see if we have some, some voltage, okay? So, we have 232... Yeah, so in case you're using uh, three phases, so we have all our phases uh, available for our motor to run, okay? So, we will press our button here, all right? And the circuit has engaged. So, if we measure the load breaker, we have 231, 231. 231 all right so now you realize that right now our circuit here or our load breaker has got power okay so the drive is ready to run okay okay the circuit is off all right now the one thing you have also to understand that this uh, bypass switch here, it has got some other form of contact here. All right. Now, this contact will help you uh, to also bypass the auto circuit. All right. Because if, if we don't have these contacts right here, then you are able to bypass the power circuit but the control circuit can remain active, okay? So, that's why we have this form of, uh, you know, contacts here, the auxiliary contact right here, which are help us to bypass the, uh, the auto circuit too, all right? Now, I'm going to show something. So, right now, uh, we are positioned in normal or auto, okay? That's why we are able uh, to start our circuit and then stop our circuit all right now let us again look at something uh real quick so i want you to look at this okay so as i was explaining you see at the side of input you see we have input here now what we've done you see the output uh, of this circuit the load wires this wire essentially would have connected them here on the load breaker directly. But because we are integrating uh, this bypass switch, now this wire will come and enter the bypass switch. Okay? Okay. Now, the second thing is you realize that here, uh, before these wires get into uh, the contactor, we have uh, crimped the lag on the wire so i want to show you this quick so if you look at this wire here you see uh the lagging we've done the lagging on two wires okay right here so that's the same thing that we've uh, done here two lagging two wires so one set of wire will come and enter uh one side of the switch right here remember the output of the circuit enter the one side and then from our breaker or before the input the other side now what the load now what we call the load wire here which are here the output of the switch will now connect to the load breaker okay so 
The reason why we, ha we must lug these two cables together uh, is that you're able to remove, if you're, uh, if you're to remove or to replace this contactor, you can easily open this wire, okay? Uh, remove them, uh, position your other contactor, and everything will be smooth without, you know, interac uh, interrupting operation of your pump, okay? All right, so having said that, All right, so uh, once again, breaker on. We have our, you know, contactor on, okay? So we showed up here and we said we have uh, our, you know, all the phases are variable. So if the load is connected, we'll be running. So now we want to change this in the bypass mode, okay? All right, so if I turn this button here and I put it in bypass, all right, you realize actually even before the bypass, our circuit is off. So if we test our circuit here, you will not register any, any voltage. So if we change and put in bypass mode, uh -huh. so you see right there, uh, we have our voltage right there. The other thing is, if you try to engage uh, by using the auto circuit, uh, nothing works because the auto circuit is dead, okay? The power now has been redirected uh, through the bypass, okay? So if after you finished to put back everything in order, then you have to to put this back in auto and now, now you're able to engage your circuit using the the auto mode all right yeah so this is how you can incorporate uh your you know your this switch here the bypass switch into your circuit that's simple and uh this bypass switch it can work in various circuits you know uh this is form of the this is direct online starter you can incorporate it change over switch uh automatic change over switch that will look at it in upcoming videos how you can incorporate that in a change of uh switch okay so this uh device here it it's not something that you're going to be using every day or i don't even recommend that in case you don't have a contactor, so you, you, you connect and use this uh, device directly, okay? Uh, no, it doesn't uh, work like that. This is something that's supposed to help you during emergence, okay? During emergence, during uh, maintenance only. So that works for, you know, uh, a certain period of time, and then, then you can uh, resume to your, you know, no more mode of operation, okay? So that's it. Uh, that's how you can use your bypass switch, integrate it in your uh, direct online starter. And the principle is the same in any other circuit, but I will, you know, come up with a video how we integrate that in automatic changeover switch. Now, I thank you very much uh, for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like and share. So until next time, I'm out.